Welcome back to Scores and More, and this time we head down the valley. D. Harris was at a big game as Bellevue Redmond are coming off a big victory over the Shelby Whippets. This time they took on the Clear Four Colts, and D. I mean, the Redmond kind of rolled to an easy victory. Well, the Colts getting corralled by Bellevue was right. This was an offensive barrage. Let's, let's go to the highlights, man. The Clear Fork Colts came out to defend their home turf against the Bellevue Redmen, who immediately began their offensive assault with this long coast-to-coast -coast kick return from Will Hager to open the game with eight points after a successful two-point conversion. Clear Fork would attempt to answer on a drive, but after a Bellevue interception, they would fall victim to more Redmen offense as Nick Mitzler scores and later another TD from Deegan Hager. Clear Fork would finally get some hope as Larry Feeney put some points on the board for them. However, Clear Fork's defense had no answer for Bellevue's offensive game as they fall to Bellevue 7-48. What a nice victory for the Bellevue Redmen as, as they, they go in in, in, a, in a tough road environment in, in the Valley and get a big victory, D. Well, the Redmen came to town to do battle on the gridiron tonight. You want to talk about an offensive flurry? Man, they came here and they hit Clear Fork right in the mouth. I mean, what, what was the big key to the, to the big victory? Well, the big key for Bellevue was these guys were so dynamic offensively. Run game, pass game, run game, pass game. These guys were not scared to air it out at all. And that was the real big factor. Their offense, it, let's, let's back up for a second. At least some big boys on this team, some big guys. So you get in, in the way of any of these guys catching the ball, good luck, good luck. And it's clearly clear for it could not, they, they, they couldn't contain them. They just couldn't do anything with them tonight. And then offensively for, for, for Clear Fork, what was missing? For Clear Fork, I think there was a little bit of everything missing. There was a lack of consistency, a lack of communication on both defense and offense. And then after halftime, which is another, which is another major factor, they came out very flat. Normally you go in there, if you go in and go into halftime, you know that you're down, you're in that locker room, you're going to be trying to hype yourself up. and You, you know you want to come out and give it, a little bit more of an effort, but they didn't do that. They, they came in, came out of that locker room after halftime, and they wound up just, just getting steamrolled by Bellevue tonight. Yeah, and, and, and for Bellevue, I mean, you got to think about backing up a big win over Shelby, then to go into Clear Fork and win. I mean, I mean it's for impressive two weeks for Bellevue, the last two weeks for them on the, on the gridiron. But is there a performance that stood out to you the most tonight? Obviously, it was Bellevue, and let's, let's – uh, Hats off to Will Hager. That young man put that team, that Bellevue team on his back. Definitely shout out to him. Great play tonight. Great effort. Well, thank you so much, D. And, and we're going to have more scores more when we come back.